There's so much confusion when it comes to what we should be eating. Some people say we should eat a lot of meat, whilst others say we shouldn't consume any at all. So when it comes to decisions as important as our health, I feel we should always listen to experienced medical practitioners who are working with patients day in, day out, who are well researched in their field and at seeing people consistently recover from many different diseases. Dr. Michael Clapper has been a medical doctor for over 40 years, with specialty training in surgery, anesthesiology, orthopedics and obstetrics. He has worked and educated thousands of patients. So let's hear what he has to say about meat. The link to Dr. Clapper's website will be in the description below. Animal fats, they clog you up and they make you fat. Two good reasons not to eat them. Here's a couple of more. Study after study comes out that if you are eating large amounts of fats in your diet, you are significantly raising your risk for cancer. If you are a woman eating a lot of fat in your diet, and that's talking about the hidden fat in cheeses and meats, etc., you increase your risk of cancer of the breast. Here are some countries that are compared by how much fat is eaten versus how many women die of breast cancer. The Americans and the Dutch with their big dairy industries lead the way in not only fat consumption, they lead the way in breast cancer deaths. Thailand is a Buddhist country. They eat very little meat and dairy products. Breast cancers are so rare there, if you find a case of it, you report it at Grand Rounds. When a man eats lots of animal fats, those fats are turned into male hormones called androgens. And androgens stimulate the prostate gland to get big. In our society, when a man reaches 60 or 70 and his prostate gland gets big, his doctor says, well, it's just part of getting old. No, it's not. That's 70 years of running androgen through that prostate gland. No wonder that gland gets big, and prostate cancer is the number one killer of men. And if you compare countries of the world versus how much fat is eaten and how much men die of prostate cancer, sorts out just the same way. The more fat that is eaten in a country, the more the men die of prostate cancer. And again, it's a very rare disease in Thailand, where people eat rice and vegetables and traditional foods. Animal fats. They clog you up, they make you fat, and they increase your risk for a number of types of cancers. Now, I'm describing problems with eating animal flesh, and that includes chicken and fish. Fish has a tremendous amount of fat and cholesterol in it, and chicken flesh is very fatty food. Don't kid yourself that chicken is lean meat. It is not. There's just as much fat and cholesterol in chicken as there is in beef. Animal muscle is animal muscle. And when you eat it, it raises the level of fat in your blood. There's another problem with eating animal flesh. It has too much protein. I never heard the words too much protein. I thought the more protein, the better. Put them on a high-protein diet and make them strong. It ain't so. You better believe there's such a thing called too much protein, and most North Americans suffer from it. First of all, what is protein? Protein is the building block material that you use to make the hard structures of your body. Now, you don't need very much protein during the day. You only need about 30 grams of protein a day, but look how much protein the typical North American consumes. 150 grams of protein. That is too much protein. Why? Because your body can't store protein. So what happens? Well, your liver starts breaking down that protein, and as it metabolizes it, it releases all sorts of toxic nitrogen-containing waste like urea and ammonia and amino acid fragments. And these have a detrimental effect on the body because as all these amino acid wastes go through your kidneys, it makes you lose calcium out of your urine. Why does that happen? Because there's fundamental differences between animal protein and plant protein. And I'm talking about the protein amino and dairy products. Animal proteins contains amino acids that have sulfur, and sulfur makes extra acid in the body. And as acids wash through the bone, they dissolve calcium out of the bones. Animal protein is very concentrated. The muscle of an animal is the most concentrated protein on the planet, and so there's a big bolt of protein that goes into your bloodstream as soon as you eat it. Plant protein is mixed up with fiber. When you eat whole grain rice or whole grain barley, it takes hours for that to be absorbed into your bloodstream. The less acid nature of plant protein and a slower absorption rate means it's much gentler in the body body and it doesn't pull calcium out of your body. The phenomenon of protein pulling calcium out of your body is appropriately called protein-induced hypercalciuria, too much calcium going out in the urine. When you eat a big bolt of animal protein, whether it be red meat, chicken, fish, or even milk, the acid nature of the protein washes through the bones, dissolves the calcium, which then goes out in the urine. Every time you eat a piece of chicken, and every time you eat a piece of fish, for the next three or four hours, you urinate calcium out of your body down the toilet. The investigators who documented this many times clearly say that high-protein diets cause a negative calcium balance, even in the presence of more than adequate dietary calcium. Even if you are taking calcium tablets and drinking milk, protein is such a potent yanker-outer of calcium out of your body that you will not be able to keep up 
after the calcium loss. They said that osteoporosis, thin crumbly bones that fracture easily, would seem to be an inevitable outcome of continued consumption of a high protein diet. And very importantly, when the meat gets down to the colon, the large intestine, the bacteria in the large intestine break down the meat proteins and the bile acids that the liver secretes to digest them, breaks these substances down into cancer-causing substances, into carcinogens called benzopyrene and nitrosamine. And you smear these cancer-causing substances on the inside of your colon. What do you think is going to set off in there? Cancer of the colon. This is essentially a disease of meat-eating people. You very rarely see this in vegetarian people. Another good reason to consider eliminating animal products from your diet. You will substantially lower your risk of cancer of the colon. Numerous studies have now shown that. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.